Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome to my opening of the Get Graphic Readathon vlog video. So it is Friday, October 6th. It's currently 9.08 in my time zone. So the readathon started a few hours ago. I woke up like maybe 30 minutes after the readathon actually started. But I was kind of just laying in bed because I was still kind of tired and I ate maybe an hour and a half ago or something like that. I ate not too long ago and I have books with me that I do plan on starting tonight. I was hoping to get through quite a few but I am already getting sleepy again and I'm currently watching some booktube videos. I'm trying to catch up because I'm like really behind on videos. I'm like okay maybe not really behind. I think I'm maybe like this October. I'm like four days behind so almost a week behind on videos and I have a lot of people that I'm subscribed to so it's just a lot <laughs> that I have to watch so I was trying to catch up on some videos but I'm getting sleepy and I haven't read anything for this readathon yet today so I don't know if I'm gonna keep watching videos I actually closed out of some of the ones that I had open I think I might close out of more and then I can just watch them later or you know over the weekend or over the next week I can pick them back up I'm not exactly sure but I figured I would just go ahead and show you guys the books that I plan on starting off with I do think I'm going to try to get at least a little bit of reading done I don't think I'm going to be up for too much longer tonight just because I have plans to get up kind of early tomorrow morning so yeah like I mentioned I woke up not too long ago so if I look a mess I'm sorry because yeah I woke up not too long ago and this is my day off <laughs> so I didn't feel like getting presentable like I was leaving out the house but anyway you guys probably don't care about that let me just quickly show you guys what books that I would like to get through tonight I doubt I'll finish all of these just because I'm really tired anyway I have a Death Note Volume 1 of the Black Edition and then I also picked up Death Note Volume 2 of the Black Edition. I also I also brought over Neck and Neck which is one of the other mangas that I had and I figured either I could take a break in between the two volumes of Death Note or if I finish both of those then I can move on to this before moving on to other editions or other volumes of Death Note. But those are the ones that I brought to my bed with me to get started on tonight. I don't know how far I will get. I don't think I will be doing any more updates tonight unless I get quite a bit of reading done. And yeah, I guess if I do that, then I'll see you guys in a little bit. And if not, then I will be back in the morning to do an update and go from there. Hey everyone, it is now Sunday morning. I actually did not do any updates at all yesterday. Uh, I planned on it, but honestly, I just didn't do that much and I just didn't feel like being on camera yesterday. <laughs> so I didn't do anything. So yesterday I did finish one of the books that were on my TBR. I finished Death Note Volume 1. So yeah, that's one thing that was off my list, but I felt like I had way more just because I had five more volumes of these and I was going to start reading, but I've been in a funky mood. I think it's just because I get most of my reading done while I'm at work and that's during the week. So on the weekends, usually that's my time to just sit and relax and not have to worry about doing anything and most of the time I usually don't read like I might read something here and there on the weekend but the majority of the time I really don't read on the weekends just because those are my only two days to just really relax and then get stuff done around the house so I just I was in a weird mood and I also think it has something to do with the fact that I am currently rereading like the first half of the series so I didn't really feel like reading this so I think it's a mixture of me it being a weekend and I just don't feel like reading because I usually don't read during this time and then me just wanting to know you know the next part of the story instead of having to go over what I have already read so after I finished that I just really didn't feel like reading anything else okay no I didn't feel like reading stuff but 
I wanted to do other stuff more than that so I just ended up putting it off so I didn't read anything else but today it's like I said it's Sunday so I do have plans to I didn't do any of my chores yesterday I pretty much just sat around all day and chilled I mean I that's pretty much all I did <laughs> uh, I got up on I finished reading this I what did I do I don't know I don't remember everything I know I did yesterday but I know I did sit around and play the sims for a few hours and then I took a nap and then got up played some more sims and then ate dinner <laughs> and then I think I might have played some sims a little bit more after I finished eating dinner so yeah that was pretty much my day yesterday I read a little bit played sims and ate and slept which to me that's a good weekend but today I need to get some chores done around the house i need to clean up a couple rooms and they do laundry you know stuff that just needs to be done that i should have done yesterday but i just didn't feel like it but i do want to get through some of my shorter reads that i had on this list um i think i can definitely get through the ones these today and i'm really going to make the effort to because i didn't really read anything else over the past two days so I think the first thing I'm going to pick up is Neck and Neck. Uh, this is the other manga that I picked up that wasn't part of the Death Note series. I was about to start reading this yesterday, but like I said, I just didn't feel like it and I wasn't going to force myself. So once I, you know, get some cleaning done and start my laundry, I think I'm going to go ahead and start and read this one. And then after that, I believe I'm going to pick up Descender Volume 3 and Descender Volume 4. I'm pretty sure I can get through all of these today. But yeah, that is my update for now. I will try to come back to you guys later to let you guys know, you know, what I've read because I really only have one other clip besides this one <laughs> for my vlog. So, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah. Uh, I guess that's all for now and I will update you guys later. Hey everyone, so um, I meant to update earlier but I didn't get around to it. Sorry, I have the camera shaking. This camera is heavy and I'm weak. <laughs> anyway, um, like I was saying, I meant to update earlier but I didn't get around to it. I ended up going back to sleep so I could get a couple more hours in before I had to leave for work. But I actually need to leave out kind of soon. And I still need to eat dinner. So I figured I would just come in for a really quick update. So I did finish another book. I finished Neck and Neck by Lee Sun Hee. And I was really surprised by this. Um, I think I mentioned before that I thought I might have possibly read this before. And after reading it, I don't think I have. I think I might have read something that was similar to this. But I did not have never read this one. So like I said, I am about to leave out for work. But by the time I get there, I'll still have like maybe an hour and a half before the readathon is technically over. So I am going to take the two volumes of Descender with me so I can try to get through those. Hopefully it's not too busy. I know I have a few things that I need to get done when I get there but that usually takes me about 15 or 20 minutes and if it's not busy then I could probably get through both of these before midnight and I'm really hoping I can do that and that'll probably be all that I'll read for this readathon and I don't feel too bad about that because if I do finish these two then I will have finished like four of the things that were on my TBR which isn't really all that bad and then I can I might put the rest of them on my October TBR depending if I get through all the other books that I have you know put on my TBR for myself but this will probably be the last update for tonight because I don't plan on taking my camera to work just because it's just too much to bring this and I don't want anything to happen to it because this is the camera I actually film on so um yeah I will probably just when I get home in the morning, do a quick update and probably a wrap up so I can have it all in one video. And then this video will go up on Tuesday. Oh well, yeah, it should be up when you guys are seeing this. But the plan is to get it up on Tuesday. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys tonight. And I will see you again in the morning. Hey everyone, it is now Monday morning. I didn't really vlog as much as I wanted to for this readathon, but I did have like a couple updates that I will have for you guys at the beginning of this video. But um, yeah, like I said, it's Monday morning, so I figured I would come 
and do a really quick wrap up. I didn't really read too much but but I did get a little bit of reading done so I will quickly go through what I read. So the first book that I finished was Death Note Volume 1 by Sugumi Oba and the art is by Takeshi Obata. I think that's how you say the name. Um, this was actually a reread for me. I have read the first half of the series already I think either last year or the year before that. I did read the first half but I didn't really remember too much of it so I decided to start the series over and if you guys saw my TBR video my big goal was to read this entire series for this readathon but I just didn't get to it after reading through this one and I kind of forced myself to read this one I didn't really feel like reading any more of the series so I decided to stop. I figured that might happen. I decided after I finished this that I wasn't going to continue on reading the rest of the series at least for now but I decided to stick with my initial rating of a four out of five stars. I thought this was a really nice introduction into the story so I just started talking about this book and didn't even <laughs> explain it so if you guys haven't already heard this book follows or this series follows Light Yagami and he is basically the top of his class. He's like a really good student but he's honestly just bored with his life. And one day he stumbles upon this notebook and on the notebook it says Death Note and he soon finds out that it's actually a notebook that was dropped by a uh, Shinigami I think that's how you say it and basically that is a death guy and the, this death guy dropped the the death note because he was bored and he wanted some excitement in his life i think it's a he not really sure it's a death god but anyway so light finds this notebook and he basically vows to use this notebook in order to cleanse all the evil from the war world i cannot say that word that's basically what the story follows obviously there's a lot more to the story i've only like i said gotten through halfway so don't know too much more and then on sunday after i woke up and started getting some things done i finally went ahead and picked up the next one so i finished neck and neck by lee sun he and this basically felt follows Dobin cho and she is the daughter of a really high crime boss in Seoul South or Seoul Korea South Korea I'm not sure where Seoul is I know it's in one of the Koreas but I don't know which one anyway <laughs> um this book follows her and she is actually in love with one of her oldest friends but he only sees her as a sister and this guy is actually he is close to her because his father is somehow in connections with her father so it's just it's not really all that complicated I'm just making it sound more complicated than it is anyway she is in love with him and she decides to transfer from the school she's currently attending to go to his school to try to you know work her magic in order to get into a relationship with him so basically she follows him to his school but then she ends up running into one of her father's most prominent enemies um his son and so all three of them are going to the same school and as you can probably guess a lot is going on with this i was really surprised by this going into this i wasn't expecting to like it just because looking at the cover even though you really can't tell too much from the cover and then looking like briefly flipping through the art i didn't know you know what really what to expect i at first i thought this would might have been something that i had previously read when I was reading manga online but I quickly realized that it wasn't it just sounded similar to something that I have read before but like I said I was really surprised by this I ended up really liking the characters and I wanted to see how everything was going to work out for them especially Dobbin I think that's how you say her name it's kind of strange um but anyway I ended up getting really attached to her and I wanted things to work out for her but I also wanted some other things to happen and this is only the first book and I believe there are several other volumes so I think it's a total of eight and the series is complete. This was really fun and I'm really happy that I read this. Like I said I gave this one a four out of five as well. And then the next two um, books that I finished I technically didn't finish them during the readathon. I started the first one during the readathon but I didn't finish it. I finished them both technically today on Monday the day that I'm filming this but I figured I would just go ahead and talk about them. The first one is Descender Volume 3 
Orbital Mechanics by Jeff Lemire. That was Descender Volume 4. Sing oh, wait. I messed that up. This is Volume 3 Singularities. And then I went on to Volume 4. I ended up giving both of these a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed these. I don't think these are necessarily my favorite comics, but these are definitely one of my probably favorite comic series that I have read so far and I would highly recommend the series. Like I said, I finished technically two books for the Get Graphic Readathon and then I started one and I started this one and finished both of these after the readathon ended but that's okay. I still managed to read four books technically over the weekend which I think is really good because usually I don't read it. Oh, I usually don't read over the weekend. I maybe read like a chapter, you know, a few chapters here and there of something that I might need to get done. But I will say this is pretty good for me. That's everything that I read during this readathon. If you guys participated, let me know what you read. And if you have like a vlog or a wrap up or both, definitely let me know down in the comments. So I can go check that out. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.